All right, so this is going to be more of a narrative, and um, it'll all wrap up in the end, and you'll, you'll catch on to what's going on. So you're looking at uh, one of my, and I'll just share my tricks as I go along. I, I learned this a long time ago from another guy that taught me this. It was an older guy. Um, and it dealt with something else totally different. It was like, you know, I don't, I'm not even going to go down that path, but let's see if um. You take a photograph, uh, if you're not sure what something looks like, like anything, like your office, take a photograph of it and look at it, and you'll see everything you don't like about what you've got going on, and then you can address it. Um, this can work for everything. If you're wondering if your car is dirty, take a photograph of it. Look at the photograph and go, oh, yeah, my car's dirty. It does represent me. Well, here are like the before and afters. Um, that's kind of in there, further in there. Even though this house was had a great price on it, uh, excuse me for my grammar there. I'm a little late night for me. Even though this house had a great pr this house had a great price, it looked terrible without being staged. Um, it just looked like an open garage, if you will. So you you won't see it in these images, but I have um, drapes here now. It's beautifully done. Um, look at this beautiful kitchen. Uh, of course, I'm being facetious um, with this little 24 inch stove. We're gonna move on. Hopefully, this goes the right direction. Um, come on. All right, so it did, but I moved the, uh, move this out of our, okay, let's put you back in there. All right, so next picture, I've got to look at my JPEGs. Here's the kitchen. Um, the house is beautifully priced, no stove. Um, I mean, the stove, no refrigerator. And you'll see a change on, look at the grant, notice the countertops now. They're just, uh, that along with this stove. And we'll move on. It's the room when it was unstaged and it's just, just partially getting there and I realized I gotta make a video for you guys. Um, it's just nothing, no character. And I'm sorry I don't have the, uh, I'm in this grouping, I don't have the, the finished shots. Maybe I can find them. Um, this is where the bed's gonna go. It's just a rough layout. You just roughly lay it in there you just to get an idea. This now has drapes. Uh, really done up really nice. Um, let's move on. Over here, again, the photograph helps you figure out what you're missing. I'd love to put something up here. Just can't heck. I don't have anything in mind yet to really make that celebrate to come out. Um, this this has been addressed with the register event. This is a walk-in closet. Um, one of the rooms still it's it's nowhere near what it should be, and uh, what it what it is now rather. This now has drapes. It's really uh, done up. This has now been removed. This is gone. This is gone. All the Hollywood light bulbs are gone. This gold is gone. That's gone. Um, the flooring is still yet to go in. Pedestal sink. And this mirror will actually go on this wall. And you can get away with that without a medicine cabinet because um, you know people don't see it. They don't. They don't think about medicine cabinets. Um, and they also think it's so cheap to put one up. This is uh, just a rough idea. I carry along the air bed. And I throw it down to get a rough idea of what things look like. Um, this wall now has a couple of paintings staggered, like painting, painting, or drawing. A small desk here. Don't buy the big desk. Buy a small one. It just says desk when they come in. And it gives the illusion that, uh, in their mind that it's a desk, and they don't think of actual measurements. This is a tapered desk. It, it's not, it's not, a, it's, it's an odd shape. So it's kind of cool that, uh, again, you get to get away with it. There's its sister, another one there in that room. Um, moving on, here's the angle from there. This also helps you figure out what angle you're going to work with, and you're looking for straight lines when you're shooting these wide angles. Um, that's I did not choose that angle, I don't think. I don't think I kept it. This shows that, eh, you need something here on this wall here. I mean, I've got lamps here now. I've got a lamp here. This has got drapes and... Um, Really look, really done up nice, and let's move on. Uh, that's the other perspective of it. If I wanted to do that, and again, I think I did not. The porch, you know, got to figure out what I was going to do with there. Again, I, I dra blinds and drapes. They just really do a uh, do a body good. Um, got decorative sconces on these walls now, um, and you'll see some finished cabinets and I mean finished granite. All that kitchen will just change. And let's move on faster if I can. All right. So again, this is just the angle high up, and just looking for what I'm what I'm doing wrong, what I'm missing, and what I can add to it. For example, I did like this light coming in here, so I left. It showed there was another room, 
So in the final image, I did leave the same effect going on. And you can see it's not really, uh, the, this table is not really done up as, well, I guess you wouldn't know, that it's really done up with the final images. And that's sort of around the circle on this, isn't it? Uh, wrong video, wrong video. Okay, back to the, um, now you see the granite countertops are in. Now you see the stove's in. Um, that old, this type, this backsplash here thing is torn off here. And now it's it's spackled in joint compound. And, and uh, that one cabinet was off color is now stainless steel sink. Uh, yeah, I told you it's late for me. Um, dishwasher. And they had, I changed this out to stainless steel, the receptacle plates. All of them are stainless steel. Let's move on. This, um, these are the installers. Uh, let's move on. That's me recording with the Sony AS20. Um, it says uh, it's it's done up. There's nothing really to say there. That 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 that. What is that? Let's move on. All right. Here's now with the uh, stainless steel. Here it is now with the stainless steel appliances. Um, the granite in there. It's a little more shiny than this. Let's see. That's there. Uh, I've got a couple of this guys over here. Uh, now you see the backsplash is addressed. And now it's got a pendant light now and drapes. It's got a new ceiling light. Drapes over that window. I don't think we're going to get to those images. Oh, another, another property. All right, let's go back to this guy. So the one cabinet was odd, odd color, as you saw. So just got rid of it and replaced it with a... <laughs> You know, what's this going to cost you? About 500 bucks, and a cabinet costs you 200 Your People want to see this more than they'll want to see one extra cabinet. Um, it's just off their punch list. Um, now you see the recessed double bowl sink, the faucet with the handle that comes out, with the sprayer that comes out. I was able to find the images. Let's start with the uh, what we have here. Now we're back at that dining room table. There's this, this in the background is the... Uh, Oh gosh, that's my cat bullying me. There's the uh, stove. Let's go on to the next image. And I'll, oh, come on. Okay, here we go. Um, now we've got the, uh, st the uh, this is sharper, or in focus, and now this guy's uh, giving the uh, effect of the dining room table look. And now, um, well, it looks like I don't have the finished blinds up. I'm looking at that now. Let's move on. Um, just going to show you the finished look. And that's the difference of white balance. So this is probably more true to its color, but this is more appealing as we know. So you've got to get your white balance changed. Um, I do photography channel, so, um, so I'm going to mix up my construction and photography stuff sometimes when you're looking at my videos. Um, here's the white balance, just a little bit between both. Now we've got some grapes on the table and the staging and the cheese it's all fake that cheese has been eaten now that's the container you purposely get you purposely buy that all this the wine is real um now let's go to here now missing the pendant light here this light's not changed out that's also changed out but let's so we can observe now that here's the, here are the drapes um let's move on hopefully we'll run across that image there's a door open now now we've got paintings on the wall here and here this pulls your eye from one, if this painting wasn't there, this might look flat. Now this gives you, uh, now you can see the depth, and this helps you see the depth from here to here. Um, the lights are off in here. This gets a new, or has a new light already. And, yep, that's ready. Okay. So there's that girl's room. Now we've got this other extra staging in here. This bed has been changed out to a different bed. I tried it on an angle. It just eats up real floor real estate, so I pushed it back over, and I don't know if the image is there or not. This is the boys' room without the paintings yet. Here's the desk. It's got a nice jelly, this jelly bean thing here. It gets, it has all the candy in it now, so it's sitting on that desk. Little train. Anyway, puppy dog got moved over. All right. This now has more, um, one more layer of uh, fabric on it. Here's your queen size bed. It's got a desk here now. And it appears I don't have the image in here. Um, this is from the angle of the other side of the bed. This has got to be clipped off current day still. I'm still hiding it. I've got to get some scissors and go very close. Be careful not to pull on it. You can tear your, your uh, you can pull this apart. If you do, don't return it. Don't panic. 
break out your sewing needle and thread and, you know, sew this thing back up. This is just staging. I never use it for sleeping or anything like that because uh, you'll you'll get your smells on it. You just don't want that. I've got one picture here, which I normally don't do uh, personal pi pictures of people, but this case, these these two girls I have here, they came out beautiful. Um, and, and this also has extra layer of uh, fabric. Moving on. Um, same thing here, extra layer of fabric. This is left as is. This shows a separate seating area along with the sleeping area. Um, this is a flash lighting this up from an umbrella. Um, so you're going to get more even flash, huge light source. Now the umbrella is turned down. This would be cropped in, you know, so, um, so you wouldn't see it. You know, let's pull it back like that. So you wouldn't see that, but I want these lights to show, these sconches. There's a table here now. Um, I wanted all this depth to show in the ceiling. You can see it's flat here. I go back. Now you can see all the angles and people, some people like those angles. And there it is again, not too great on that seam there, but only you and I know about it. Here we go. Um, let's move on. And again, it's uh, right here is the uh, painting. Um, but you, this is the image you look at and you figure out what you can do. Um, and this image is now mounted here. And this has paintings on it that take up all this huge wall real estate that doesn't look great. It has a uh, magnetic, let's go back, a magnetic drape that you tape when you're leaving these houses after you sell them, you take them off. And you don't have to worry about screwing into the door and things like that. They're magnetic uh, um, curtain bar, bar uh, curtain bars. Um, fake fireplace that does work. It's electric. It does put out heat and it does give different quantities of light. Um, different, like eight different settings with a Bluetooth speaker that comes out of here um, so I can have the mu music on softly. Um, one of my cameras, I just use it as staging. A metal box just to add some texture. Um, the lamp is here now. Uh, there's, now you can see the paintings on there. Um, there's the other wall sconch hung up. Let's move on. Um, this was trying to deter... Oh, this is for another video. I did that one. But now we're back to the... Uh, Okay, so let's go over there. I can't give you all the image because I can't change my screen recording at this point. Um, my screen, screen recording size. But now you're back to the kitchen. Um, and these are a bunch of hot sauces. The thing is you want to keep people stuck in your house. Uh, you don't want them just to run out and go, oh, nice. You put you, you bait them with stuff like this. So they got to stand up, stand there and look and go, what are those? And you're baiting them um, and they stick around. Uh, and the longer they're in your house, the more, um, you know, more exposure you're getting, literally. Okay, let's start, let's talk um, HDR. This is HDR. Uh, it's, it's on your cameras, your more advanced cameras, even your iPhones, but I would never recommend an iPhone. Well, I won't say never. If you have no other images, use it. This is done with a professional camera. It's tough. This house looks small on the outside, but you can see it's big. Um... It's, just, it's, uh, it's uh, deceivingly big. So if you shoot it straight on, it looks small width-wise. Put it on an angle, and now you're going to get these long lines, things like that. I purposely put a car way back in the distance for scale. Um, now the car is back there. And if I put it in the middle of the here, it makes it still look small. Put it way in the distance. Give it some scale. The long hose is purposely left there to give it the... Uh, Again, oh, that's a, what, a 50-foot hose? You know, let people look at it for a while. Let's move on. Um, it's loading an image now, I think. All right, so we're back to this. Now we've got the lighting in. Um, great. Not ready for that yet. Going backwards. Going backwards one image. It's just taking a moment to load. These are what they call CR2 files. They're, um, they're big files. These up here are CR2 files. They're huge files. Um, all right, so back here. Now we see this, the uh, the lighting's in. And to let the lighting show, um, it's like uh, directional lighting coming from the window there. And I remember the door is open to show you depth. And there's the blind. And put something on the wall there. This still has to be spackled. This is a new uh, thermostat. And this is my part of my staging. That's uh, fake bread. Um, sorry, my camera's set to... Uh, 
take multiple images obviously so now we're back here with the other layer also and this image shows you can see outside which are dark here so I try to get the exposure and then I try to add light to uh, and you can show this emphasizes that light too um, then I try to add light to emphasize what I want to I don't like this it's dark obviously but and this is um, multiple layers because I use a professional um, uh, equipment so it'll go one exposure high one low and it, you go through a range and ultimately it looks something like this now you can see the table I'm shooting down the table again creating bigger depth and I'm adding all this these other uh, long items to show that oh gosh this room is big for scale now we've got our end table here with the uh, bird cage lampy thing going on at least that's what I call it it's really just a cage but I put a little fake bird in there you know concrete bird now I step back even further now you see that you can see a desk these other guys and that but it's a little dark here so we should I should address that um, I should address in the images coming up yeah so you see me working with my exposures I don't think uh, yeah these are all gonna be CR2 so you won't I don't think you're gonna see my final image in this grouping but now you see how it's light there so I get to blend all those images together to get the, the okay looks like roughly this is probably what I wound up with I do not know for sure if this was my final image Again, it's showing a desk. Um, all this stuff is placed to add depth to the room. Um, this is not my final image because the uh, all, all, all the effects made this look too dark here. So I recall uh, having to address that. Um, this was one of the images working its way up. So I step way back in the corner. I think there's one more way I can go back further. As you can see now, we've got a painting on the wall. This is not addressed. It is addressed now. Um, We've gone up. Okay, we're going through my multiple layers again. Sorry about that. Let's get out of that. Any moment now. So you can see now it shows all the, the it will expose for the lights correctly when I shoot it at that lower at this point. And that's shooting all the shadows when you see it overexposed like that. All that one for sure. And it winds up again something like this, but again, look up here. This is the HDR you would get typically from a, a your cheap ca cheaper camera. Um, still have to come up with something to create up here. Uh, creative. Uh, I'm exhausted. Something creative to put up here. Um, it is plywood up there, so it does. Uh, it can take load. So now we've got the painting up, and normally I don't do photographs of people. Um, and there's now your magnetic thing, and this is the angle that's not in the uh, final image because this is not covering there as I only have like a 30 inch this is like 30 inches and this obviously is like 33 so it's kind of annoying but um, it's not noticeable unless you're picking at it like I'm doing now with the images and let's move on it's not noticeable at all you, you know where you're chiming in on that and moving on and that's close probably close to the finished image I like the, the lighting the cast up there so sometimes you got to do these intimate shots and get in there tight. You don't want the neighbor's house showing in your image, so you purposely expose it to screw up the background to over to blow it out. And and come on, or you can go the opposite way. This thing should load where this would be a darker version of it. But the problem is, it'll start bringing that up clear. Huh? Okay, I thought I was at the end of the image. See now it's clear when you make it darker. See the exposure now showing the home. We don't want that. This is this. These are my multiple images to create my HDR effect. It, it gives you a dynamic range of uh, the shadows, the the uh, highlights, and everything, so you can get a nice, nice, beautiful exposure. And that takes care. Of, that takes care of the shadows, as you can see, when you blow it up that high. And it's roughly like this, except for I, I change it so you won't see a house in the image here distracting you. Um, that will be another video and I, I, I'm sure I should I'll remember to take care of that remember the extra detail if you remember previously we had this and now I added this one extra detail yes this is another you know quite some change it's, it's not cheap but you had that room if you recall in the beginning of this video it was quite um, 
terrible. Now we're exposing for outside. That's a, that can work. You know, it can show the trees out there. Um, and now again, that's the exposing for the shadows. And then combined, all of them look like this, and this has been addressed. And combining them, um, it does this sometimes. It, it can't figure it out what you wanted to do. But it nails it mostly, but not there. Now, um, moving on, so now we've got the painting. We've got the stand-up mirror, which stays like that between the two lights. Um, and moving on. And this time, I did the final image did not include putting this in the image, because I don't want them to get perspective to understand, that, oh, okay, I see the whole room now. No, I want them to see like a section of the room and then think, oh, I gotta see, I wanna see the rest. So this was not my, angle I chose. I moved, I had a different angle on my final um, images. Um, for, so the back window, what does it look like from there? That's it. You got to come out to look at the house at this point to, to see more. I'm not selling the backyard, this backyard. I'm selling the uh, house. And moving on. So you tease them a little bit, make them come for the rest. In this case, it's that giant master that's uh, it's so worth it. And I guess I'm not done. Maybe that's the final image. Okay, that might be the final image I loaded. Um, showing the grid, gridded windows also, but the privacy. This is definitely not the image. But now you can see the pendant light is installed now. So, you look at the other video. This is that pendant light that you see me install. This is a you know, $50, $60 light. And here's a table finally almost completely set up. I still have, I, I rearranged, and there's the faux bread, and there are the cupcakes. They're actually candles, or can sweets. They're candles. They put off a nice smell. This stuff is not cheap. It just looks so nice, um, and I consequently, I get people telling me, oh, I love your staging, or oh, I the love, it, it look, the fruit looks so real. Like, yeah, okay, thank you. Now, uh, let's put an offer on I'll put an offer in. In this house, um, everybody loved everything. The bathroom, they complained about the uh, the uh, cabinet, so I, the shelving. So I tore the whole shelf, the uh, countertop there, I tore it out, and now it's going back with the pedestal, which is less functional space, but uh, usage rather, but um, functional of the space. But you go with you, you go with the, you go with the uh, your uh, your feedback. So look. Here are the drapes. This added that other layer. There's that guy. That's just temporarily up there. This is getting uh, stained glassed. Um, now we've got the, uh, the temper. I mean, the uh, adding some colors, some texture, some red in there. That's the apron. Um, this guy set up pretty much the way it's going to go. And I purposely didn't want to show the other end of the room, so you, I chopped it. So you're looking at this angle. Let's move on. Um, and again, I don't want to show the entire room. I want people to think, oh, okay, there's more room there. Uh, let's move on. Oh, obviously my HDR, um, my high dynamic range stuff. Remember, shadows, lights, etc. Shadow highlights and midtones. And moving on. All right, so there's that angle again. Um, this is not the angle I chose, but there's that depth again we talked about. And move on. Now the table's more staged, as you can see. These darn pepper, little uh, salt and pepper things, they're like 25, 30 bucks for the two of them. But they're brass. Uh, they look like brass. They're uh, beautiful. I don't think they're copper. No, I think I, I just made me think about it. I wonder what it's made of for real. They look like brass. I guess that would be safe. Um, now, hopefully that's the end of the video. The end of the, oh gosh, really? Let me just scan ahead for us. All right, what do we have here? Nothing special. I guess it's, it is special. I just lost my, uh, my gas, didn't I? My gas tank. All right, those are HDRs. Okay, we'll go to that. So this just shows the uh, percent of that up that I shot 
down this long angle to create that smaller kitchen. Yeah, it is a smaller kitchen to make it look long. Got to the end of it, shot down this way. And again, um, this is showing all your features. And let's move on. And now you see the, the door does have something that shows another. That's the master bedroom hidden back there. That's a huge addition. I built that. Uh, huge addition for this house. Um, and where are we going? Of course, I do recommend permits. Um, this was all permitted. I do not. I do not recommend that you do not do permits. And there's a close little image. These are. Um, the, 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 you put your regular, just to be clear about it, you put your regular plate on top of this, but I don't do that. It's just too pretty to hide that that, that, that beautiful thing. Now we talk about white balance again. That's warmer. That's cooler. As you can see, warmer seems more inviting, but you're going to get a whole other tone out of that. Um, so you can leave this guy in the Obviously, you can buy some of your staging just in the supermarket and just not open it. Olives, wine, these glasses, uh, nothing special. Go to the dollar store, find these glasses. You figure out how much I've spent for it. I just told you. And let's see if I can wrap this video up. Just different angles that you're trying to take images from. Um, Everything has consideration whether I put these two glasses here. I started with four. I mean, I went to four, then I went to three, back to two. Leaving the tag on the kitty, all this stuff counts um, as far as what I think about. Even the chairs, I got different chairs. And I'm like, no, nope, I want this chair with the uh, rustic, with the uh, little bit of chipping in it, things like that. This is all immaculate. The other stuff's all this never been used. It's always brand new and no reason to use it. I mean, it's a beautiful cheese board. Costs a hundred plus dollars, but it just sits there, you know. And then most of it's just covered over. Um, again, you want them to stick around and look. Now, let's talk about things like this in a photograph. It's kind of tough. I do remove them sometimes in software, and even this guy. Um, is it fair game? I think so. Um, they're going to have an inspection. They'll see that they get more. It's not like I'm taking away and and and, and um and not giving it back. They're getting something else. And um, you can do that if you pay attention to advertisers. My photography had on now lamps. A lamp doesn't look good with the cord. You cut the cord off. If you look at your lamp images, a lot of them have the cords cut off. So this did get its receptacle, uh, its cover plates. And I love the metal cover plates and not the plastic ones. They just have a little more style to them. This uh, light is the uh, beautiful little flowered light, if you will. This drove me crazy, this room, in that over here I wanted these shadows out. And I tried to get it mostly in camera, so it I had some fun with it. This is just camera staging. Um, did not include the door in the final image. I do not think that would be a, a, a great sale. I don't want the the door in there. It just doesn't look great. So the door got cropped off. The electrical cover, the electrical switch ultimately got covered over with uh, software. And I'm going to wrap this video up with this image. What's the random next image? Come on. What are you going to give me? Okay, that's the image. Alright, so again, I uh, hope this was helpful for you guys. Sorry about this long video.